Question. What have you had to eat today? Cereal? Fruit? Lasagna? Hot Pockets? Well, it doesn't really matter, because no matter what you've eaten, it all ends up in the same place. As I'm sure all you smarty pants know, liquid wastes exit your body as pee, while solid foods make a long and winding journey through your stomach and intestines until they end up in your toilet bowl as what we scientifically know as poop. Gross. I know, I know. It's gross just thinking about poop, let alone talking about it. But guess what? The poop coming out of you is as essential to your health and well-being as the food going in. Yum, 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 yum. So what exactly is poop? Why does it smell so yucky? And what does your poo say about you? Whoa, what you been eating, kid? It's time for another whiff of science on... Who smarted? Who smarted? Who smart? Is it you? Is it me? Is it science or history? Listen up, everyone. We make smarting lots of fun. And who's smarted? Don't worry, I didn't actually just go to the bathroom. Those were just sound effects. But I did that to illustrate that you should always, always, always wash your hands after going to the bathroom. Especially when it comes to, <clears throat> you know what. But why? Well, to answer that, you should first understand precisely what poop is. Hmm. Feces, another word for poop, are the remains of food that your small intestine could not digest or absorb. And since your body, which is quite an efficient machine, has no use for this leftover waste, it begins a process to expel it. First, bacteria in your gut causes the food remains to undergo a chemical change. Which is why when you eat pizza, M&M's, or broccoli, it doesn't come out looking anything like pizza, M&M's, or broccoli. Nope, that is not a pizza. The waste passes through your bowels and out your rectum. I know, disgusting. <sighs> but hey, everybody poops. Humans. Hello. Animals. <coughs> fish. Insects. Even single-cell organisms like paramecium poop. Whoa. But what is poop made of? Why is it usually in some shade of the brown family? And why is it so smelly? <laughs> Ew. To help answer those questions and more, we've brought in an expert. You might know him from your cell phone, iPad, or the emoji movie. Why, it's the poop emoji. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the show. Thanks, glad to be here. Before we start, do I call you poop emoji, pile of poo? I prefer Pumoji. Pumoji, got it. So wait, why is it, or you, called poop? Poop comes from ancient English word poopen, which means a sudden noise, like this. Uh. It was shortened to poop and became known as the stuff you make, and pooping became the act of making it. Uh. Early words for poop were always simple and basic, ever since caveman cave woman times. There's caca, doo-doo, doody. And then starting around 1903, poop and poo. And poomoji. So tell me, what are you exactly? You might be surprised to learn that poop is mostly water. And as all you listening know from experience, the amount of water in your poop can vary. It mostly depends on what you've eaten. For example, foods high in fiber, like fruits and green veggies, produce soft, easy-to-pass stool. Whereas foods low in fiber can cause hard, dry stool, which we all call constipation. <laughs> and fried, greasy foods, and especially spicy foods, often come out pretty liquidy. But, on average, poop is around 75% water. Okay, not too gross. We're getting to that. The second most significant ingredient after water is bacterial biomass, which contains both living and dead organisms. You know, like the live cultures you find in yogurt. Those are also in your gut. Ah. They're called probiotics. Ooh. All right, a little more gross. 
Anything else? The rest is mostly undigested carbohydrate, fiber, protein, fat, and dead cells from the walls of your gastrointestinal tract. Of course, if you accidentally swallow something that's not totally digestible, eh, that'll hopefully show up sooner than later, too. Oh, I swallowed a Lego piece once as a kid. I'm not sure I ever got it back, though. Ew. Moving on. I couldn't help notice, Pumoji, you're always smiling. I'm smiling because I'm happy to be alive. And guess what? If you couldn't make me, you wouldn't be smiling because you wouldn't be alive. Pooping is grossly important to your survival. Ah. That's very true. And I like how you used the word grossly to mean both that poop is very important and also very disgusting. No offense. None taken. In fact, poop is meant to be disgusting. It is? It sure is. In fact, everyone listening, how many times have you made a yuck face or cringed and shuddered during this episode at the mention of poop? Oh! I'm guessing at least a few times. Well, that's no accident. Humans evolved to be disgusted by poop and to want to avoid being around it as a means to protect us from disease. That's because poop carries the possibility of bacterial, fungal, and parasitic infection. Which is why you always need to wash your hands after going to the bathroom. Exactly. In fact, fecal bacteria is stronger than most other bacteria, which means it can live outside your body, like on your hands or surfaces you touch. Do you like to play on your phone when you're on the toilet? Me? Uh, sometimes. I'm not super proud of it. Yeah, well, you might not just be typing poop emojis onto your phone. You might be actually putting actual poop. And then even though you wash your hands, you touch your phone again, and it's back on your fingers. Ew. Then, later, you rub your eyes or grab a slice of delicious pizza and... Ugh. Okay, okay, I get it. Of course, it's weird that something that came out of your body is so harmful if it were to get back inside your body. Trust me, it is. In fact, the reason poop smells so bad to you is because your brain has evolved to detest the odor of feces. Is that why poop smells so bad? Not you, of course. You actually don't smell like anything. Ah, that is because I'm just a two-dimensional representation of poop. If I were real poop, you would not want to be sitting anywhere near me. But what makes poop smell so bad? The pungent smell you associate with poop is due to something called scatol, an organic compound that contains sulfur as well as acids, bacteria, and other chemicals. Ah. The smell can be better or worse depending on what you ate and how much water you drank. But it's never going to smell like roses, that's for sure. Also, why is poop brown? I mean, it makes sense if I ate chili or brownies, but everything comes out brown. Green beans, yellow rice, red apples. Why is that? Ah, it's because a chemical your body makes to help break down food. It's called stercobilin, and it's a combination of red blood cells and bile. This chemical excreted by your liver and kidneys gives your poop that nice, healthy brown color. Just like me. But brown isn't the only color poop can be. Smarty Pants. Huh? Which of these other colors do you think poop can be? Orange, yellow, red, green, black, gray, or white? Did you pick any of those colors? Maybe you've even made some of those colors. But here's the thing. Poop can actually come in all of those colors. Tis the most beautiful rainbow I've ever seen. That's right. Sometimes these colors are the result of foods you ate. For instance, eating a lot of spinach can turn your poop green. Carrots can make your poop orange. And beets or tomato juice can lead to red poop. That's fine and normal. But oddly colored stool lasting more than a week or two can also be an indicator that something is wrong and you should probably see a doctor, especially black, yellow, or red poop. Wow, who knew you could learn so much from poop? Well, that's the thing. You are your poop and your poop is you. So the more you go, the more you'll know. Good point, Pumoji. To find out what a healthy poop should look and feel like, and what your poo says about you, stick around.
Now back to Who Smarted. Okay, Poomoji, give us all the scoop behind the poop. What makes for a healthy poo and a healthy you? All right, don't be afraid to sneak a quick peek at what you've left behind. Poop, there it is. Poop, there it is. Upside down and inside down, you get it. And then there's a handy checklist of what to look for. Color. Healthy stool is medium to dark brown or greenish if you ate a lot of green veggies like spinach, broccoli, kale, or string beans. Smell. It's never going to smell good, but take note if it's really strong and if that strong smell lasts longer than a week or two. Ease. Pooping should be painless and require minimal strain. If you have to really strain yourself for a long time, drink more or see a doctor. Shape and size. Poop that's passed in a single piece or a few smaller pieces is a sign of a healthy bowel. The long sausage-like shape of poop is due to the shape of your intestines. Frequency. Most people poop once a day, while others go up to three times a day. At the minimum, you should have a bowel movement at least three times a week. Consistency. A healthy poop varies from person to person. There's no one size or shape that fits all. However, if there are any major changes in smell, firmness, frequency, or color, it could indicate a problem, especially if the issue doesn't resolve within two weeks. To encourage normal bowel function, eat a fiber-rich diet, try to be active, get lots of sleep, and drink plenty of water to stay hydrated. Wow, thank you, Poopmoji, for that disgusting but amazing info. Last question for all of you listening at home. How long should a poop take? Hmm. How long do you usually take? Poopmoji, what do you say? The average poop takes between 3 to 7 minutes. At most, it should take no more than 10 to 15 minutes. Hey, that's how long our podcast is. But no phones in the bathroom. Oh, no. A big shout out to Penelope in Robbinsville, New Jersey. Thanks for loving Who Smarted. This episode, Poop, was written by Adam Tex Davis and voiced by Brandon Bayless, Adam Tex Davis, and Jerry Colbert. Technical direction, additional voices, and sound design by Josh Hahn. Who Smarted is recorded and mixed at the Relic Room Studios, and our associate producer is Max Kamaski. The theme song is by Brian Suarez, with lyrics written and performed by Adam Tex Davis. Who Smarted was created and produced by Adam Tex Davis and Jerry Colbert. This is an Atomic Entertainment production.